What's going on guys, Jack here and I am back for episode 4 of the Aston Villa career mode. As always, if you are new around here, make sure to hit a like on this video and subscribe. That would be absolutely awesome. So we are in the month of September, we're going to play all four games this month. And the featured games will be the game against Arsenal and the cup game against Southampton. So after four games in the league, we are top with nine points. Three wins and one loss, level with Leicester, Norwich and Newcastle and Manchester City too. So... You know, it's, uh, it's been an okay start to the season for us. And we even get, it gets even big, bigger, sorry, with a 4 0 victory against West Ham at home at Villa Park under the lights. Tanzebe, our new player, gets the goal. Trezeguet with two, and Dakar with one. Very good stuff there indeed. As we go into the press conference here, just before the Arsenal game, uh, just trying to, lift, like I said, lift morale of the team and get them like, geared up for this game and hopefully. Um, Get the three points. That's that's what we want. That's the target. And you know, I'm I'm definitely confident of getting that. So, um, the start of the season we've had so far, only lost one game, one four now. So, you know, that's twelve points on twelve points on the board, and we're looking to make that fifteen with the win against Arsenal away from home. Um, the team pretty much is uh, looking strong. McGinn starts in the gap. Uh, Nakamba, uh, Dak obviously is in red hot form for us after the last episode getting that hat trick. And it's not a bad Arsenal team at all, honestly. Holding Mustafi, Tierney, uh, Chambers, and Guendouzi make up a solid uh, duo in the middle. Pepe on the left. I'm uh, not too sure about the uh, the other two behind Lacazette there. So um, a Barryang on the bench too uh, is not good for Arsenal. So we'll see how they do in this one. Uh, he's giving you for chance there, Unai Emery. As uh, Engels clears it as far as Gilbert, but uh, Mar Martinelli gets it off of him here. Uh, the Arsenal man gets the ball into the box. Finds Lacazette. Heaton produces a great save to deny them. And on that, from that save, we do hit him on an attack here. Jack Grealish holds the ball up really well. Finds Nakamba, who's got runners to his right hand side. Plays it inside to Grealish. Grealish turns away here. Good uh, ball control as he finds a Scotman, John McGinn. Drop, uh, McGinn into Dakar. Back into McGinn. Uh, Grealish, sorry. Back into Dakar. It's a brilliant counter-attacking passing move. Slick play from Villa. And... Patson Dakar continues his incredible form in the Villa shirt here. 1-0 uh, at the Emirates. And, you know, you, you could say the best team of the lead here uh, so far, based on former season two. We just really haven't looked back since Jack Grealish has come back too. Uh, it was a big miss for us. And, you know, we are, we are, we're trying to we're finding our feet now. We're looking very good as Guendouzi plays the ball into Chambers here. Good link-up play from Arsenal. as look to get back into this game here. They get a shot away. Heaton was beaten. But it does still remain at 1-0. Half an hour yet to go on the clock here. And Arsenal are still looking for this equaliser. Tierney does find uh, Guendouzi. The Frenchman plays it inside the Chambers. Great attacking move here. But again, Heaton is uh, smothering the shot there. Keeping our goal safe. Lacazette though gets the ball here from a great position. Heaton again is denying the French forward from finding the back of the net here. I mean, this was a great shot from Lacazette. First time effort too. Um... Yeah, Heaton, very well played from him. Arsenal getting very frustrated now, it would seem, as from the corner, it would come in from Ainsley Mason niles The ball comes in beautifully to Mustafi, who heads it into the back of the net, past Tom Heaton, and Arsenal are back level in this game. Um, and you can't say it is not deserved. Arsenal, since we scored, have, in fairness, dominated the game. Um, we have to rebuild again now and look to try and hopefully get a goal back here. I mean, it's a good ball in from Maitland-Niles. Uh, poor defender from Trezeguet loses his man in Mustafi. It'll be the easiest goal he probably scores. As uh, Martinelli does link up with his man there. Grealish does win the ball back from a stray pass there from Tierney. Nelson onto the ball, gets his former club. Plays it inside to Patson Dagger here. Cuts inside of his man. He shoots and tries to bend it that far post. But unfortunately, it is off target. And Arsenal will go again. It's been end-to-end -end stuff this game. As Guendouzi loses at it now from a stray pass. And the Camber wins it back. Does link up with Dakar. Dakar does find Grealish. Grealish turns. He shoots. That's just past the post. That was incredibly close to finding the back of the net. As we approach the second half now, Jamal Lewis down at left-hand side. Inside to Trezeguet here, the left winger. Uh, plays a great ball in. Does find John McGinn with a first-time effort. And it is a call and a depth finish into the bottom corner to regain Villa's lead. 2-1. And it's the Scotsman, John McGinn. I mean, uh, it was a great attacking move from us. The ball in from Trezeguet. Uh, he done really well to pick out McGinn, who was actually unmarked. No real pressure on uh, number seven for us there and the finish was even better I mean we've scored some great goals this season uh, uh, already and this ball win and the first time finish from McGinn is brilliant no one marking very very poor defending there from Arsenal and um I mean, they deserve to be 2-1 down for defending like that. You can't defend like that in the Premier League. It's making the Niles, though. Arsenal trying to get back into this game. Uh, the ball does find Lacazette. First time effort, and he does bury it just after the hour mark in this game. And Lacazette gets the goal he was looking for. He's been on fire pretty much all game. And um, he does get the goal he was looking for. Celebrates with the manager there. And Arsenal are well and truly back in this game. And probably on the hunt now for three points. We have to make sure we stand firm in defence and... 
don't let him have any opportunities and try and nick this game. It's a great effort. It was like the first time effort he had in the first half, but Heaton was uh, obviously equal to that. But again, we do come forward. Grealish puts the ball over the top, does find Patson Dacker off his knee, that was. And it was so close to finding the back of the net there. That would have been something special from him if he found the goal there. Look at that off his knee. Uh, the absolute audacity to try that. That would have been stunning. Guys, just a friendly reminder, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure you do smash a like on it. It would be absolutely awesome as we get into the last 30 minutes of this game. The ball over the top does find Reese Nelson. He's got the pace here ahead of Kieran Tierney. It's Reese Nelson against his former club. Shoots. It's saved. It's cleared as far as Guendouzi, who gets it away to Mustafi, who continued to attack here. Nelson wins it back again, and he does find John McGinn. Always scored this game, and he plays it out wide out to Wesley, who's come onto the pitch. Fresh legs for us here. Tresco runs from the middle, does find the Egyptian here. First time to our captain, Jack Grealish, and he finishes into the back of it with five minutes to go in this one. Villa have the lead again, and it's Jack Grealish, our captain. What an important goal that is for him, and he's off to celebrate with the whole squad there. What an important goal that could be for Villa, and it shows our credentials that we have this season, this team spirit. The team morale is high. The team's playing great. It's a great ball, and it opens up the defence here. No, not enough bodies over, and uh, to be fair, it's been a really poor game from the Arsenal defence that gifted us this three points, in all honesty, and uh, we'll take that every day of the week. Dakar, McGinn, and Grealish. Uh, score three to ensure us three points which is absolutely great as we do go in now to the post-match press conference again just building up the players here team is in a really good place so far this season and uh, we're going to look to continue that I mean John McGinn was incredible in that centre mid role he really did play well and uh, I'm definitely interested and intrigued to see how he would do uh, as this season does progress as we get ready now for an important game in the Carabao Cup. We are going to play some youth players here. O'Hare gets a chance. Eze moves out onto the left with El Ghazi on the right. Douglas Louise and McTominay make up the midfield too. Concert comes in too and uh, Target gets the first start of the season at left back against his former club Southampton. So I'm definitely intrigued to see some players um, catch my eye today. Uh, we want some uh, good performances and we definitely want to go as far as we can in this cup with the team that we have. Um, it's important that we have rotation. It's important that players get a sniff in and get a chance uh, when available. So uh, it would be us that start off on the front foot here. And guys, just a friendly reminder, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure you do hit a like and subscribe if you are new around here. It's Douglas Louise uh, gets an opportunity early on there. It does get cleared away, though. And uh, we continue to pile pressure on O'Hare onto the ball now. Good link-up play. Looked like a good, tidy depth play in the first 20 minutes here. And he gets an opportunity to make it 1-0. It does get saved. Wesley does find the back of the net. But it is ruled for offside before we can do anything about that one. And even start a celebration there. And as you can see, uh, as the shot's taken, he is way off. So uh, that goal will not be counting. As Eze picks up the ball here, does find McTominay. McTominay does find O'Hare. Great chip through ball into Gilbert here. The, right, uh, the French right back puts the ball into Eze. And somehow Ramsey gets that clear. Really good defender there from the Saints. As uh, we come forward again to this second half. O'Hare loses that, but he does show great strength to find a ball into Eze here. Cuts inside of his man. Great bit of skill. Does find Douglas Luiz here. The Brazilian shoots straight down the throat, though, of Lewis. It's been all us this game. No real um, attacking threat from the Saints. As Tishoba comes forward now. The centre midfielder plays it inside to Davis, who does find Wesley, whose shot is saved. Really good defending here. He's going to a penalty shootout. And uh, we'll see what team does go through here. Uh, War Price scores his first one. Wesley steps up here, and his one is saved by Lewis. So they are one nil up the Saints, but Heaton does get us a good goal there. And uh, we do end up going back on terms now. 1-1. One, one. Uh, we do actually save the shot from Lamina here. Great play from Tom Heaton as... Uh, Matt Tiger's going to step up against his former club, and he does slot that one. We do have the lead now for the first time today. Obafemi hits the crossbar and goes in just. And our young centre midfielder, Shabala, or Tishbola, <laughs> he scores. He makes it 3 2. Has to be saved now from Tom Heaton, and it will be enough to knock Saints out. It is over. It is uh, a victory for us in the cup. Tom Heaton, the hero, it would seem, uh, with two very impressive saves from him, and obviously a miss from Armstrong. Uh, poor display there from the Saints in all honesty, but we'll take that every day of the week. We are through into the next round. A great penalty shoot at, to say the least, as the rain does fall down at St. Mary's. We do advance, and uh, we're looking forward to the next round of this cup and show what we can do here. So, uh, again, a lot of players impressed in that game, uh, giving the youngsters a chance, and uh, they, they really are um, proving me right to uh, pick them because uh, if they keep playing like that, they will get first-team football, uh, mark my words. Uh, again, post-match uh, comments, we're just trying to uh, boost morale and trying to get the club in a place where we want it to be. And uh, that is very happy because um, we know that this season could flip on its head with um, you know in, in a moment. So we need to make sure we keep building up points and make sure we keep our player morale high. And that's what we're doing with Aaron Tishbola here. Um, again, we just keep working to improve. And um, yeah, 
Uh, we keep everyone happy. Matt Target wants to play in his next game against... Oh, who are we against? I believe it's... A good question. I can't remember. It's Burnley, and it is a 2 0 win. So Zebby picks up a little knock there, it would seem. And Dakar continues his brilliant goal scoring form with two goals to his name. Another brace for him. Uh, he's definitely way out there. He's probably the top goal scorer in the league so far. Uh, incredible stuff, really. Is as you can see, he is injured. Oh, Axel Tanzebe. Four months he is out for. We've just brought him in and we've lost him already. So, Konsa, our young youth player, did feature in today's episode. Uh, he will be getting some more first team opportunities, it would seem. Here's a look at the Premier League table after seven games, 18 points. Norwich, Newcastle and Spurs make up the top four. Um, again, the big clubs, Manchester United, City, all down the mid-table with Chelsea. Uh, Liverpool in 12th and Arsenal in 14th. It hasn't really been a good season for them so far, but a win would see them go up the table in their game in hand, Arsenal. Uh, next episode, we'll have games against Norwich, Brighton, City and Sunderland. We'll look to play all of them. So make sure you do stay tuned for that, guys. It is bringing end to today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do hit a like on this video. I would very much appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe, share the video, and uh, I would appreciate that too. I'll catch you all in the next one. See you, guys.